If you're one of my subscribers who enjoys watching me fail, because I know you're out there, then you're going to be disappointed with this video because I've done quite well. And I'm not being sarcastic. Nah, I mean it. Hello everyone and welcome to the 18th episode of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. Now usually at this point I would say how confident I am with everything and things are going to be great and blah blah blah. And the past two episodes have been just so bad. I've had so many mistakes that this time I'm not going to say anything. We're just going to have a look. In fact, I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to say I think everything's going to be a disaster. And hopefully that'll have the opposite effect. Okay, so for the first craft project, I'm going to attempt to make these little shell candles because I just think they're very creative, very unusual. I've never seen anything like it before and I have made candles, so I know what I'm doing. And I don't want to say it, but I don't think anything can go wrong with this. I really don't. I think it's going to be a very simple, basic craft project. Fingers crossed. I also fancy making this domino clock. And I've never made a clock or anything like that before, but I know you can buy the little mechanisms separately. And then I just need a piece of wood and some dominoes and it should be okay. It should be fine. And I do think it looks quite nice. It's very rustic, very different, unusual. And that's my kind of thing. I like unusual. I also quite like this and it looks as if it's maybe it's like a tea tray or a dinner tray or something like that. And I'm pretty sure what they've done is already bought that kind of tray mold thing and then just added some resin inside. And apparently it's by artist Elaine Diley. Diley? Diley. Diley. Her version looks really, really good. So hopefully I can get something that looks a little bit similar to that. Okay, and since I'm already doing a candle project, I thought I would do another candle project. And I'm going to make this pineapple candle. And I've had this pin saved for ages. I've been wanting to do it for a long time now because I think it looks so cute. And I definitely think it's something I can achieve. And I think I'll send it with pineapple. I think that makes sense. Okay, so I think I'll leave it at them for craft project for today's episode. And I know I didn't want to say... I think things are going to be okay or kind of jinx myself. But the things I've chosen, I can't immediately see any issues with. I think it might be an okay episode. I think I might not get a fail. I hope. I really hope. I need to redeem myself. So yeah, I'll need a few weeks to get all my materials sorted. And I'll meet you back here and we can start some crafting. And it's going to go well. Okay, I'm back. And I thought the first thing I would make is the wall clock. Because I think this is the one that I'm going to have the most troubles with. So I just bought this wooden chopping board online. And I think this will serve as the base. The only issue I'm having is I can't tell how big their clock is in their pin. So I don't know whether mine's a huge version of it or whether it's the right size. I don't know, but it's gonna be all right. And I think I'll attach the clock mechanism first. Yeah, so with their pin, they had a bit of blank space at the bottom and the clock was kind of at the top. Okay, maybe I should measure this because otherwise it'll go wrong. So if that's 29 and a half centimeters, how long are these things? Oh, this is too much maths. I just want to guess. I really just want to guess. I don't like measuring. 29 and a half centimeters, it's pretty much 30 centimeters, isn't it? I'll just go for 15. Was that right? Probably not. Now, I just want to drill a hole through this. Voila! Now how does this work? So this is obviously the back of the clock. This hole isn't big enough. Well the first step isn't done yet, is it? That should be big enough. I hope so, because I don't think I've got a drill bit any bigger than this one. Whoops. What are you doing? Why are you getting stuck for? Oh, we'll screw through now. Yeah, that's fine. That should work. All right, let's try again. All right, that seems pretty secure. Oh, am I going to fit the clock head on? I think I will. It should be okay. I hope so. The thing is, I bought the longest version of this I could find. So if that didn't reach, I'd have been screwed. But I think, I think I'm going to get away with it. Right, now how does this work? Some instructions. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's right. One. No, I, I forgot to put that little disc. That was supposed to go, like, in between there. Ah, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't, I don't even know what washers do. I'm sure they're just a waste of time. Insert hour. Is this the hour? No, that's the hour one. Right, that's that done. Ooh. This is a bit cheap, very bendy. Insert minute handle. Are you sure the minute one's the longest one? It must be. I have loads of extra bits. What are all these extra bits for? Will that work if I just do it like that? 
Let me put a battery in and just make sure that works because I just can't be asked with it. Like I hate following instructions and there's always someone in the comments in whatever of my videos. Hey, you should have followed the instructions. And it's like, aye man, aye I know. I just can't be asked. Is this a double A? Well, nothing's happening so far. Oh, it's working. It's because it doesn't have a second hand, which is why I didn't think it was working, but I think it is working. Yeah, look, it's moving, look. Look at that. Yes. And I've got three leftover parts that I didn't need. See, see? What, why did they give you all of these extra things? I, I don't need them. Silly. But I need to set the time. Well, actually, I'll put the dominoes on first because then I'll be able to see better. I just bought this little pack of dominoes on Amazon, which is a shame because I got ripped off. When I was in the pound shop last week for when I was doing pound shop crafts, they had some dominoes there, which were obviously a pound. And I think I spent about six quid on these. Right, so I just need to glue them on in a circular pattern and then we should have our clock. And I'm just going to use super glue. I'm not going to hot glue this on because super glue will be so much stronger. Okay, so we have expectation and reality. And I think I've done a pretty decent job. I think mine is definitely a lot bigger than theirs because my dominoes are way more spaced out than what theirs is in their pin. But other than that, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it's been quite successful. And I've even set the clock to the right time as well. Oh wait, is that the right time? Yeah, that is the right time. I can't tell the time. And I might hang it up in the studio on the wall somewhere so we always know what time it is when I'm recording. Although I'll never replace the battery and I'll never change the clock because I'll forget, so who knows what time it'll be. Okay, so this cost me £31.95, and, and it could have been a lot cheaper if I bought my dominoes at the pound shop, because I think the dominoes were about seven quid. So I think I could get this down to at least £25, and I don't think it's too bad, you know. It, it won't be to everyone's taste, but for like a weird, funky clock, I don't think it's a bad idea, and I don't think I've done a bad job. I've made a lot worse. So moving on to the next craft project, I thought I would tackle the pineapple candles. And for this, I just took some ordinary glass jars that I already had in the studio, and I've already pre-wicked them. And I know they're not exactly the same jars as what they had in the pin, but I just didn't want to buy any more when I had some perfectly good jars lying around in the studio. It'd be pointless. I then just melted up some soy wax on the stove, and apparently this is some eco-friendly wax as well. I don't know why but it's what it says on the packet. And just added some lemon yellow mica powder, as well as some pineapple fragrance oil, and gave that a good mix. Once that was melted, I just poured it into the jar. And of course, I didn't have enough to do the second one. So I melted some wax again, did exactly the same thing, and poured it into the second jar. Okay, and this is what they look like at the minute. Unfortunately, the colour is kind of dulled down. It doesn't look as yellow as it did before, which is a bit of a shame. And also, I've had some cracking and a little bit of collapsing on the top. And I'm not sure why that happened either. I was also quite messy when I poured it in, but never mind. And now I just want to add some little black marks on the outside, like they did in their pin. I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe it's like, I don't know, just decoration. Okay, now it's time for the lids and they're the very pineapple part of this candle, so I want to get this right. So my jars actually came with black lids, so I've just painted them already with some acrylic paint just to get them green. I'm trying to figure out how they did the top. I feel like they just cut one big lot of felt, cut it spiky and then just kind of looped it round and stuck it on. I might do a darkener light just for the crack, why not? Because it's either do it this way or add, like cut loads of different leaves and then stick them separately. But I don't, I feel like they didn't do it that way. I feel like they've done it this way. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Yeah, cause then I think they just like did this with it and stuck it on. Obviously I need to cut that down a bit, don't I? I don't think that looks right. I think if I just pull them apart and spread them apart. Yeah, no, that's, I, I think it's right. I'm just going with it. Mainly because I can't be asked to cut separate leaves out just for this. Glue that like that and then just Glue it on top of here, like so. And just gotta wait for the glue to dry. I feel like a lot of the time when I record videos and make crafts, I'm just sat around doing nothing. Just waiting for things. <laughs> Gives me time to think about life. Oh, 
That was sad. While I wait for that one to dry, I'm gonna do this other one. Okay, so we have expectation and reality. And I think I've actually done a pretty decent job. I don't think mine looks as nice as theirs because my candle wax isn't as yellow, but I think the tops, I, I think I've done a decent interpretation of it. And overall, I'm, I'm not mad at them. I'm really not, I quite like it. And the pineapple scent, it's worked quite well. It, it smells really nice actually, it's making me hungry. And these two candles cost me seven pounds and 10 pence to make, which again, I don't think is too bad. Obviously I already had the jars, I already had the felt, it's just all the other stuff. Oh, and I already had the candle wick. So it's mainly just wax and the scent that I bought. I've just realized because I've put my finger on it, I'm rubbing all the pattern off. So maybe the Sharpie wasn't the best idea, but never mind. Just don't touch them. You just have to look, you can't touch. So the next Pinterest craft project I thought I'd recreate was the resin tea tray. And I just bought this tea tray on Amazon and it was the cheapest one I could find because I wanted to save a little bit of money. But I think it's gonna work quite well. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is the fact that the handle is very low down to the tray, so this has to be a very thin layer of resin. So I just poured my pre-mixed white resin onto this tray and realized that I needed a little bit more pigment than that. It was looking a little bit transparent. So I added some more pigment and tried again. Now, if you watch the video where I did epoxy resin paperweights and I used the alcohol ink then, basically this is what I was trying to get. This is the effect I was trying to go for. Just in the paperweights, it didn't work. So all I did was use a variety of different colored alcohol inks and poured them directly onto the surface of this resin. And it looked so cool when I was making it. I was really excited for it. I was also very apprehensive because I wasn't sure whether the pigments were gonna to sink to the bottom or whether it was gonna stay like that. So we have expectation. Reality. No, no, stop, stop, it's fine. No, 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 go, okay, keep going, keep going. Now, I don't normally gloat because people who gloat are just assholes. But I can't resist with this one. I am so pleased with myself. Look how nice it looks. Ah, oh, just look at that. And if I'm honest, I think my version looks way better than the original. And it was so easy to do. Yes, mine's like a little bit more crazy and a lot less subtle and a bit more extra than what theirs was. But th that's just me. Th th that's my vibe. That's how good it is. I can't believe this came from my own two hands and I somehow didn't burn down the studio trying to attempt it. But no, things don't always go right on this channel, but when they go right, oh, they go right. And by the way, you might think that I'm incredibly talented for creating this, and I'll just tell you that I'm not. It was so easy to do. It was honestly, anyone could do it, a child could do it. All you need to do, if you wanna make something like this, is mix your epoxy resin with some white pigment, pour it on, and then just go crazy with some alcohol inks. It is so easy. And I think this is quite a common thing actually. I see it a lot on Pinterest and Instagram and stuff like that. And I always think those people, I'm like, oh wow. Like how do they do that? It's just crazy. They must have an insane amount of skill. And now I know it's all a lie. It is so basic. It is so easy to do. And you'll actually be shocked that I only spent 11 pound to make this. So it was quite cheap as well. I reckon quite a lot of you will have tried this before and you'll be thinking, oh, and get over yourself. Like everyone knows how to do it, but I didn't, all right? So moving on to the final craft project of today's episode and it's the shell candles. So I bought these shells and pre-wicked them. And I know they're very different from the candles that were in the original pin, but I really tried to find their exact shells and I just couldn't. I couldn't find them. This is the closest I could get. Also, I was expecting them to be way bigger than they are. They are absolutely tiny, but it is what it is and I'm gonna make some candles out of them. So I just melted some soy-based wax down and also added a little bit of sea breeze scent to it, even though it smells absolutely nothing 
like the sea. It just smells like perfume. And gave that a good mix and got it all melty. I'm also not sure what that is, but I took it out because it wasn't melting. I think it was left over from a different craft project. And then I just poured the melted wax into the shells and let them cool. So we have expectation and reality. And I think mine look fine. They look okay. They don't look anything like the original pin because I couldn't find their shells. But it's basically what you would expect. It's a shell candle. However, these are so small. They're just basically decorative. You'd probably get about 10, 15 minutes of burning time out of this. So they're much more decorative than they are practical. And I'm not gonna light them because I don't wanna waste them. And shockingly, these cost me 10 pounds and 89 pence. And I would not spend 10 pounds and 89 pence on them again because I just think they're a waste of money. So that just about does it for today's episode of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which one of the Pinterest craft projects that I've recreated today was your favorite. I think if I was picking, it's obviously gonna be the resin tray. I am, I'm just never gonna get over that. I'm really not. And if you're one of my viewers who hasn't subscribed yet because there are quite a few of you, then subscribe to the channel. It actually helps out a lot and you can hit a little bell button and you get notified when I upload. Sometimes. It's, it depends whether YouTube fancies it or not. But anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye!